But we think that real opportunities, particularly in failing school districts, failing public school districts, that young men and women need to have the exact same opportunities. And we're convinced that the Educational Improvement Tax Credit and the um, Opportunity Scholarship Tax Credit are making a difference. We need to make sure more kids get that opportunity and we're gonna be pushing for expanding that tax credit, again, the combined tax credit of EITC, OSTC, uh, from, we, we think the number now at 150 million ought to, ought to go up to 250 million. And uh, that's our goal. Speaker Terzai has been on the uh, front end of really driving opportunities to children no matter uh, where it is. He, he's come out today uh, really advocating uh, for school choice and, and indicating that his focus will be on helping children gain access to quality schools uh, no matter where they are. Without Children's Scholarship Fund, I really will not be able to provide them that opportunity. So it's been tremendous. It's been tremendous not only having this school here as a choice, but you know, having the Children's Scholarship Fund there to provide that choice, to help me provide that choice to them. Um, because it is, especially for our, um, our younger students in poor communities, it's very hard to give them that chance. We are committed to kids from all backgrounds. We think we have to meet our obligation, our constitutional obligation to fund public schools appropriately. We understand that. But we think it's not one size fits all and that particularly in, in areas where school districts aren't, aren't, aren't meeting the standards, can't get there, that you, you, you have to invest. You have to invest in places like DePaul or the students in, that, are, that are attending DePaul to give them that opportunity. Our mission is to, mission ministry is to come into neighborhoods like this because we believe that people in these, in these neighborhoods really matter. They are, they are, these children here are the future. These are the doctors and lawyers and architects and engineers of the future. And so they're important to us and it's, they're important to me. When we did the um, expansion of the EITC, uh, OSTC, created the OSTC and, and expanded the EITC, uh, it wasn't unanimous, but we had a large bipartisan vote. We had, uh, I think it was back in, in uh, June of 2012, and I think we had almost 150 votes out of 203. So it was not uh, limited uh, to Republican or Democrat. It was it, many Republicans and many Democrats were very supportive. And uh, we hope to have that same bipartisan support, you know, moving forward. We've seen a real advocate in um House Speaker Terzai in a way that will really me mean that we're moving forward uh, in educating children and, and really putting children first uh, rather than institutions. So the fact that he is so committed and, and focused in his leadership on improving the lives of, of children and, and access to quality education is huge. And schools like DePaul are, are helping to hold communities together. and. Uh, it, it's it's not that, that we don't want to support our good our good public schools. It's not that we don't want to support our good charter schools. We want to support both of them. But for some families, places like DePaul are where they want to go, and and it's their it's their um, it's it's their haven for their kids. So, so one's in uh, fifth fifth grade, we're fish grade and one one's is, four years old, and we'll make home. Yes, he will come. Oh, that's great. He's breaking down the doors now. As he drops them off, he wants. I got to put him back in the car. <laughs> Because the curriculum is awesome. Oh, that, oh, that's great. Can't get no better. Can't ask for no more. <laughs> hey, thank you very much, everybody.